Greetings everyone, here is a new video, but in this video I wanted to talk about something that I find very very freaking important, which is your own gyms, which gyms that you actually need to upgrade first. So here is the thing, there are tiers of the gyms, you know, there are orange, purple, and there are blue, and then green. Basically the orange is the best, the rest is weaker. Because it's based on tears. You collect the blueprints using chests. There are either an S chest or there is an A chest. If you have an A chest, you will be able to get these type of the gems that has uh, what do you call an attack to melee or overall attack. So guys. Before I continue with the video, if you were looking for a discounts, App Gallery has an offer right now. What is App Gallery? It's an app store where you can download games and shop cheaper in mobile games. If you have access to any Android device, any Huawei phone, or you use an emulator, you can download App Gallery from the link below the video. Our current offer for today is related to Age of Origins. With App Gallery, you can get up to 25% cash back. All you got to do is install Age of Origins using the App Gallery platform. In your first three purchases every day, you will get 25% cash back and 20% cash back for the rest purchases every day. Keep in mind that this offer is only exclusive to Europe countries, so make sure to set App Gallery region in Europe countries. Want more offers? Join App Gallery Discord to get more sweet offers and customer support. For me, the only gym that is actually worth upgrading first, and I consider it the best gym, is the defense, uh, not the defense, the reduction gym and the damage gym. So we have two accounts here. One account who have done it the right way, and one account who has done it the wrong way. So, for the wrong way, this guy, this my first account, has done it in the wrong way, which is something you regret. It's damage as purple, even though you are supposed to start by getting the orange one. You either get the orange one for damage or you get the orange one for the reduction. And I obviously prefer if you get the orange one first for the reduction. So as you can see here, this is level six and has always been upgraded first. This is the best gym which you could upgrade, but it shouldn't be your first gym. Why? Because if you think about it, even though it's one of the best fucking gyms in the game, it increases damage to long range, increases damage to mid range, and increases damage to the melee. When you go through the, the battle itself, you start by attacking the melee. You do not actually touch long range or the mid range, with the exception of you being a mid ranger. If you are a mid ranger, then yes, some of your attacks might uh, surpass uh, melee and then go and attack the long range. But if you are a long range, your attacks actually doesn't touch the back line much, so you are pretty much saved and this won't be as much worth. However, there is one thing weird. Yeah, there is the second gym in here which has the reduction. Unlike the first one, this is the reduction. So, why do I consider the Ultra Reinforcement Extension, this one, this one, this gym, to be the best gym in the game? It's very simple. One, you are taking damage from all three. If you are attacking in, in a group, if you are attacking in a group, for example, which most of the stuff, you are getting attacked by long range, you are getting attacked by mid range, and you are getting attacked by melee. So upgrading this gym first would be the most beneficial for you. Okay, so what else? You have here this gym that says increase attack of all troops. I consider this gym to be way much better than the overall type of the of that attack like for example this one increases the attack of melee increases the attack of mid-range increases the attack of long, long range and it, it shows here that it, it is 
it's a lot. It shows it, it's four percent. While, while here, while here, for example, it doesn't. But you are actually mistaken, my friend. This one increases attack for all troop type, which means it's going to be involving your zombies, and zombies they are the strongest troop in the game. Not only that, the two other st stats is actually beneficial for them, for your zombies, and they are very freaking beneficial for your frontline, the infantry, as it adds HP and it adds defense to all of them. So you are actually benefiting more from this gym other than this gym, the one which is specify exactly which kind of uh, uh, troop stats it adds. So, what is the best gem again? This is the best gem. Reduction. This is the second best gem, which increase damage, which obviously this one. Never go for the purple, just go straight for this one. Ignore any orange in the game. If you want to start with the oranges, you start with these two. They are the best gems in the game. And then you go after you are done. Do not go for these. This is complete waste. You go for this gem. Which increases the attack for all of your troop and HP of all of your troop and defense value of your troop. So, what do I usually do if I want to buy uh, these? Uh, I basically rush my uh, rush my way to get the gems. What I usually do is you have here on the exchange store. You are going to go for the blueprint, which has S. Uh, sorry, which has E. Ignore S completely, keep it for the last. You're going to go for this one, because that's the best. As for extension, obviously, you might not have enough from the, the chests. So there are two ways. One of the ways is you buy from the equipment. <clears throat> it comes one day, I don't remember exactly which day, but from the equipment, it comes where it is. Yeah, you see here, it is very expensive. Where it is here? It is very expensive to buy these, and they usually come in five dollar, and has better bundle than these. This is a bad bundle. Okay, this is a really bad bundle. But again, this is not where you actually buy them. And even if you try to buy them, I usually do something else. I buy uh, using my gold. I spend my gold this way. You can you have here in the bag in the shop and it's actually gonna be way cheaper than buying them uh, from the bundles if you are someone who's actually a spender and you don't know what to do with your gold this is one of the best fucking ways in the whole game uh, to get to upgrade your equipment and to get actually a very decent st stats like if you want to know how rare this stats is you can easily go through the uh, your officers in each single officer, when once you upgrade that officer, you know, once you reach five stars, you are allowed to get one. Uh, there is one actually special stats for each one. For example, this lady, Tifa here, she has one special stats. All of these stats are considered to be a normal stats. However, there is one special stats here that you won't find anywhere else, which is called reduced damage taken from melee troops. See, the percentage is even freaking low. And each single uh, one of these officers will actually have this true strike. Right? For example, let's take Zeus. Zeus will have a different one. Let's see Zeus. Okay. Where is Zeus? Yeah. Melee defender. See? Reduce damage taken from a melee troop. Another one that is melee. And then you have here the Banda. Banda has reduced damage taken from mid troops. So each single one of them will have this special stats and it gives uh, a fewer percentage which means by only using gold and keeping this uh, blueprints you will be able to get these massively <laughs> rare they are rare for the people that doesn't know reduce attack is not the same as reduce damage if you go through any report if you check any report uh, let's see an attack. I'm not sure if I have any attack. Yeah, here for example, any attack. You have stats, right? You have stats. For example, in here, you have enemy long range attack reduction. 
71%. This means if the enemy attacks, say, a 500, it's going to be 430. It's going to be counted as if it's 430. But there is a damage reduced damage here. Reduced damage taken from long range troops. This is the total damage they are going to take away from the 500%. Like if it's supposed to deal a thousand damage to you, this is going to take 20% of it, which means this is the best stats you could have in the game. And obviously, since most players now are using long range, so you seriously need to consider having this gem. That's it, guys, and have a wonderful day.